Hello. Well, I, I want to teach you today and share with you what to do when the pressures of life are mounting and the pile of work keeps getting higher and higher. And I want to tell you what you think you need may not be what you actually need. So I think when the pressures of life are mounting, there's four things we can do. The first one is we can ignore it. So I'll just write ignore. The second one is we can push harder. So let's write push. I realize my marker sucks here, so I'm just going to do my best. The third one is we can adjust expectations. I'm just going to write adjust. And the fourth one is we can do the counterintuitive thing and rest. Rest. So let's talk about these. Ignoring anything isn't most of the time a good option. We push it under the rug, the problem gets worse. So ignoring it, not a great option. How about push harder? Well, push harder might work for a defined period of time, but it doesn't work for the long term. If we push hard too long, we burn out. And we all know where that leads. Um, number three, we can adjust our expectations, which this could be a good one as well, because most of us overestimate what we can do in the short term and underestimate what we can do in the long term. Um, and so maybe adjust expectations could be a good one. The fourth one, the one I'm going to talk about today, is the counterintuitive one, and that would be to rest. So um, I want to give you, uh, I want to argue for number three or four, but today I want to talk about number four, resting. And rest, I find, comes in three forms. And so let's just branch out here. The first rest is physical. Physical is the easiest one. Because physical, if we need physical rest, we know what we need. We need to eat, we need to sleep, we need to exercise, right? The second one is spiritual. How do we spiritually rest? We go back to the practices, the spiritual practices that give us life, okay? And then the third one, the one I want to focus on today, because it's the least talked about one, is soul rest. Rest for your soul. Now, this one is harder uh, to understand because it's hard to quantify. How do we have soul rest? Well, when my soul is weary, and here's how I classify soul, it's your mind, your will, and your emotions. Your mind, your will or volition, your decision-making power, and your emotions. So how do we give our soul rest? Well, here's some things that I need um, to give my soul rest. And let me just erase these for a minute. And we'll talk about soul rest. So let's just write soul rest. I find when my soul needs rest, here's what I need. I need fun. Fun. I need to just go do something fun. And so I plan fun into my schedule because sometimes if we don't, it doesn't happen. Um, the second thing is friendship or relationship. So friends, family, life-giving relationships, right? The third one that I need is solitude. Solitude. I need some time by myself, right? Out of my normal environment. And with solitude goes this. Usually in that solitude, I need time to read, write, think, pray. And so one of the things that I love to do most when I get the chance is just sit in a pitch dark room and think for a while. That might not sound enticing to you. I love to take walks. That's a form of solitude. There's lots of ways that you can get that and give your soul rest. So if you're feeling depleted today, I want to encourage you, try identifying the source of your depletion. Then decide what sort of rest best suits the, sor the source of your depletion. If it's physical, is it physical, is it spiritual, or is it soul rest that you need? Um, if you're, you know, once you know, then you can take the needed step. So you can cancel that meeting. You can go on a walk. You can sleep in if you're physically tired. You can take the morning or the afternoon off to read, think, or pray. You can schedule that retreat uh, for two or three days that you need just to replenish your soul. So what I want to encourage you to do is let the pile of work grow and take care of yourself. Because when you do that, after resting, you may actually find that you have the vigor to tackle the pile afresh, or you may just decide some of those things resolve themselves, or you can, maybe you just burn the pile. Maybe you get back and you discover this pile can go. So um, I will guarantee you this, the pile will be, will be there when you get back. I hope you find your form of rest today and practice it. Good luck. 
hey, I just want to try this. This is my right hand. It's showing up. Or left hand is showing up as right. <laughs> <laughs>